So you don't know how to make your own skybox. Not a problem. Now I learned how to do this by combining three different tutorials together from 3D Tutor, Scyllis Mix Games, and Matt Asplund. So if you'd like to see a longer explanation for these things, definitely check them out when you get the chance. All right, let's say you've made your own simple skybox texture with the standard HDR dimensions. I'm doing 8K, but 4K is often all you need. Export it to a PNG and then go to Convertio and change your image to HDR. Download it. And now inside Unreal, I recommend you just copy their existing existing skybox, post processor, and fog. Then make a new scene, paste them over there, and now drag your HDR image into your project. Double click it, change the mipmap settings to no mipmaps, change texture group to skybox, and compression settings to user interface 2D. Save, and now right click, create a new material, name it, Open it, change shading mode to unlit, and under search, type sky. Then turn it on, then go back and turn two-sided on, and now hold M and left click for a multiply node. Then hold S and left click to make a parameter named exposure. Then drag it into B, then drag in your HDR image, and drag that into A. Then hold A and left click for an add node, plug it in, right click for a rotate about axis, right click again for a world position, plug everything in like so, Hold 3 and left click for a constant, and set blue all the way to 1. Drag it in, and hold D and left click for a divide node. Plug it into rotation angle, hold 1 and left click to drag it into pivot point. Hold S and left click for a rotation parameter, hold 1 and left click, set it to 100, and plug it in like so. And finally, connect everything into emissive color. Save, and then right click your material, turn it into an instance, click your skybox, and under materials, set it to your material instance. And now, you have your own custom skybox with your own custom texture. Now. If your world keeps getting uncontrollably brighter, that means you forgot to drag in the post processor from the default scene. Also, like I said, you should probably also get the fog, because that gives you some extra level of control for how things look in the distance. From this point on, if you open your material instance, you can change the exposure levels with this, and you can change the skybox rotation with this. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.